everybody came that mattered in Europe came to Venice that evening to hear Sutherland. So uh, to see these people co- known to be difficult uh, and you know blasé and full of problems, completely lost their temper, lost their mind, and standing there in, in such an ovation, we came back to thank, we came back to thank, and then we could then let us go. I never seen an audience say goodbye to an evening so sadly as they did that, that evening. They w- everybody wanted it to continue, one way or the other. He wanted uh, her to sing a, an encore, and uh, which she did. sang um, Let the Bright Seraphim which we, which we tr- translated into Italian using the words of another aria which he had cut which I, for, for some reason <laughs> managed to fit because the, the Italians loved that I don't think she ever did that little trick again at the end there was such a standing version it's one of the reasons why I think Fenice collapsed many years ago the shaking of the Ovations must have created some situation structurally that the fire was possible later. It was Lucia all over again, really. But it was there that two ladies were talking about her, and I overheard one of them say, Ella Stupenda! And that's, I put in my report, my notice back to London. And, of course, they pulled it out and put it in the headline, and that's how that name came to stick with her. You don't see the birth of a superstar that often. I was dubbed La Stupenda after those performances, or during those performances. And it stuck. Suddenly she became La Stupenda. And that was a label the Italians don't give those out in a hurry. Well, it was highly flattering, you know, it's... uh... And then I mean, she still holds the title. Every, a lot of people still call her last Dependent. It's, it's lovely. What she could do was uh, a prodigy. The only possibility of normal people. She was probably one of the greatest artists that I have ever had the pleasure of working with. The phenomenal uh, sounds you could obtain from the instrument of uh, Sutherland were unique, unique in, in the history. For me, she's the greatest voice I met on, on the stage, on the recording. She's an incredible lady. Voice, uh, ability, stage, uh, personality, humanity. She had, that was all part of you. Music, as she sang it, can be a religious experience. And we're all the better because of her voice, her music. (laughs) 